Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today we are looking at a, a brand new camera. Yeah I know it's been a lot of cameras uh, this year kind of but this is unique because it is my first full frame camera. Can you guess? All right, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Today, we're gonna dive in. To cut a long story short, I wanted to go for the A7S III, and I had one experience with it in the music video, and I, the experience wasn't nice because I had no ND filters, and it was all, all blown out because, you know, and I could barely control or, you know, get into the settings. It was a different experience, I just didn't want to continue that and I heard about the FS3 and I was like okay maybe that's a more package more video friendly um, camera let me go for that I started looking into reviews and I think and I, I was really going for the FS3 until I couldn't even find it in the market like it's on back order like forever I like man what's going on exploited like the prices are all jacked up and the fs3 is going for like 5k 8 5k 9 i'm like why not just get an fx6 i was like you know i'm gonna just hold on and uh, you know take a break so i kept shooting with my also 12k and uh, like i'm doing right now i know that sometimes i still be probably 50 percent of the time in focus because i move around and stuff like that but it is what it is uh, but good news is that the camera is right here now and uh, I heard about this camera only about two weeks ago and it was released last year yep and I'm talking about the Sony A7 IV <laughs> I mean this is my dream this is my dream come true you know in so many ways it is better than the a7s3 it's about four five ticks above the a7s3 and the fx3 but with the updated version of the fx6 this will um make a perfect b camera for the fx6 this is now the baby fx6 you can call this the baby fx6 because only those two cameras has all these features of the um lens compensation when you focus your lenses you tend to see that zoom in or out uh, which is uh, focus breathing uh, so but now they got that uh, uh, compensation for these lenses sony lenses that's why i got one of them and this is the Sony 35 1.4. Uh, I'm ready to make up for all the shortcomings of this camera and then take advantage of the shortcomings as well. Now I did try the Sony uh, uh, A7S 3 and I did try the uh, a Super 35 lens on it and it records in 1080p. This records in 4K, not just 4K, 10 bit, even though it's cropped ladies and gentlemen it's still 10 bit internal for for all frames 10 bit internal for all frames 20 30 60 10 bit with a crop so what for from 4.6k even if it's just 4k and it's not super sample it's still okay ladies and gentlemen we're getting spoiled but that's okay you could get what you want and all that but i think this is a perfect b camera because i do need 120 uh, honestly i do need uh my slow motion 120 i do need 240 sometimes and uh, i already have that in this camera the Osho 12k uh you know because anytime i'm gonna need those frame rates i i am not going to be in front of the camera I would not be in front of the camera. I would be behind the camera 
for any frame rate other than 24 i am not the one in frame so i can handle that and you know pull focus on my own and everything should be fine but when i'm on a talking head and on youtube this guy is gonna start working now this is here because of youtube basically and then some of those um, situations when i'm sliding when i'm on the slider you know and um like the other day i was uh when i was shooting that car commercial um, car repair shop commercial and um, i had to go uh 14 millimeters wide and uh, i stepped down to like f8 or f11 something like that just to stay sharply in focus um but that's not the best experience and that's not what we want every time so um uh, with this one i can now you know put it on a dolly put it on the slider you know crane or uh, whatever and i can still control focus either on the screen or on the phone which i you know we're gonna set up later on the phone and let it rack focus or whatever way i want to have it uh stay in focus with my subject or subjects i got a lot of canon lenses and i've got this adapter which is not of course not speed booster i'm not i'm not using any speed booster on this all i need is an adapter to just help me get my canon lenses here because i got a lot of them i can get my canon fd in there or with the only exception of my diesel zoom that cannot go on this it can go however but i have to use the pl mount to mount it on this guy then i can go to super 35 mode and still use my diesel film yeah i believe that's i believe that's right i know i'm going to use this you know on some professional cases but it's just going it's just going to be to grab the autofocus uh as a big camera while i'm taking the a a roll with the this camera i just think that for me why i got this camera the, the few reasons why i got this camera number one 10 bit 422 internally um that's amazing i know they don't they haven't opened raw externally it's going to be unique if they open the raw externally but then again that's not what i'm here for if that's if that comes fine if it doesn't internal 10 bit 422 mwah, any day any time i'm happy with that that's number one 10 bit number two the autofocus okay in fact actually number one is the autofocus so number one autofocus number two 10 bit 422 internal 4k and uh, number three um super super 35 crop mode with 10 bit 422 as well this is 4k i'm glad about that um the other thing is uh lens compensation you know focus breathing lens compensation that will also encourage me to get this and then the fact that it's it this uh, super sampled from 7k is it make it's a relief the last will be the price it's awesome that this camera is 2005 for what it does and uh, i'm very happy with this combination i'm going to be doing some tests some i won't be doing reviews of the cameras it's already out there but my experience of it but the thing is that if you run youtube and if you do some commercial job at some point you're going to need autofocus so i had to jump the gun if you can't beat them you join them man i'm going to put the links on the in the description for the camera you know and the lens the uh, 35 sony g master lens more reviews on that coming um as well as the you know adapter if you want to have that for your sony you know it's very cheap it's affordable all the links will be there in the description so let me know your thoughts about the a74 did you think what camera did you think it was let me know do you like the A74? Who's got it? Who's rocking it? Who loves it? Who doesn't? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you Sony shooters as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.